I'm Dr. Stacy Naito with P28 Foods. There are a lot of individuals out there who cannot tolerate high amounts of carbohydrates. Now this is known as carbohydrate sensitivity. Such individuals have problems losing weight and they also have low energy levels. Another thing that's important to consider is that carbohydrate sensitivity can actually increase with advanced age. So when you consider the average American diet, what's frightening is that the average person consumes 160 pounds of sugar a year. Now what this can do is predispose a person to not only carbohydrate sensitivity, but can also predispose them to developing diabetes over time. Did you know that up to 40% of carbohydrates that you take in can be stored as fat? That's a pretty frightening statistic. So for those of you who don't know about typical symptoms of carbohydrate sensitivity, they can include bloating, weight gain, fatigue, carbohydrate cravings, uh, let's see, what else is there? Hmm, depression, binge eating. So there's a lot that can happen with the body when it starts to become very sensitive to carbohydrates. So what is the solution? Well, you need to find an acceptable level of carbohydrates that your body can take in without having problems with weight gain or carbohydrate cravings. So a lot of people will start with what's considered a normal level of carbohydrates, which would be about 140 to 200 grams. And then what you can do is you can adjust from there to determine when your weight gain and your carbohydrate cravings dissipate. For individuals who are extremely sensitive to carbohydrates, it is advisable to start with an even lower level of carbs in other words, about 40 grams of carbohydrates per day, and then you can just increase gradually until you find your stopping point. It is also essential to select the right types of carbohydrates that will spark a slower, more gradual release of insulin in the body. Now, what are the good carbohydrates? Well, you're talking about whole grains, beans, nuts, seeds, and fruit. P28 bread has a number of wonderful carbohydrate sources, including sunflower seeds, uh, millet, oats, of course, whole wheat, and it also has flax seed. So in summary, if you do have carbohydrate sensitivity, make sure that you're eating a very balanced diet, which includes good lean sources of protein. Make sure you get some healthy fats in there and also adjust your carbohydrates so that you get to an acceptable level where you're not going to have those cravings and that weight gain and fatigue.